There are many animals in the wild that can camouflage or match their coloration to their surroundings in order to blend in. This allows them not to be seen by their predators or other animals that want to hunt them. Camouflage is a very important adaptation for many animals that helps them survive in the wild. Here at Discovery World, we have different fish and other organisms that are capable of camouflaging. Two animals here that are very good camouflagers are our Atlantic stingrays and our Cortez round stingrays. Not all species of rays can camouflage, but these two can. You'll notice that the substrate, or the bottom of this touch tank, is mostly tan with some other dark specks throughout it. If you look closely at both types of stingrays, you'll notice that they are tan and have a few darker specks on them just like the sandy substrate. That means that if a predator, like a shark, was to swim near them, the shark would most likely only see sand, and they wouldn't be able to tell that there is also a stingray there. Therefore, the shark will keep swimming along, and the stingray is safe. These two species of stingrays also like to burrow in the sand and rest on the ocean floor, which makes them even harder to be noticed by predators. That also means that it is harder for us humans to notice stingrays resting in the sand when we are at the beach. For this reason, it is important that we always do this stingray shuffle whenever we're walking into the water by shuffling our feet in the sand. This alerts any stingrays resting and camouflaging nearby that we are coming, so they should move out of the way so that we don't accidentally step on them. Another animal at Discovery World that is very good at camouflaging is the North American wood turtle. These turtles are actually called wood turtles because their shells blend in perfectly with the bark of a tree and twigs and branches that may fall on the ground. Here, we actually took our two wood turtles outside to get some sun. As you can see, when they are walking in the wood chips at the bottom of the tree, their shell blends in really well with the wood chips. It is very difficult to tell that there is a turtle sitting there. This again makes it easier for the turtles to escape predators like foxes and raccoons because they simply do not see the turtles because they blend in so well with their surrounding. Slipper lobsters are named after their appearance. They do not have pinchers like what most people think of as a typical lobster. Instead, they use camouflage as a defense in addition to their hard exoskeleton. In the wild, these animals can be found on reefs clinging to rocks for protection. The multicolored appearance allows them to look just like the rocks as you can see here in this rock pile. Many snakes use camouflage as a type of defense from predators or to hide from prey. Depending on where the snake lives, the color pattern will help them camouflage to that area. Corn snakes are found in the southeastern part of the United States in forests, rocky outcroppings, and wetland areas. Even animals not in the wild can find things to blend with. For example, corn snakes typically have a reddish-orange color pattern, and our little corn snake likes to climb through my red hair. In our Caribbean tank, we feature many fish that use a type of camouflage called countershading. Countershading is when the fish is lighter on the bottom and darker or a different color on top. For example, our yellow tail snapper is white on the bottom and has yellow stripes and dots on top. This is so that when predators are looking up from below, the white belly blends in with the sunlight and the light blue of the ocean. For then for predators looking down from above, the yellow stripe and dots help the fish blend into the coral reef.